guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. Today I am going to explain what block states are and that will open up a few more doors to uh, future tutorials like compost bins and stuff like that and showing you the mechanics of more advanced things. Um, so basically what a block state is, is well multiple blocks really. Um, it's not so much how the block is like functions like turning on this and off obviously triggers two different block states um, the first one is the default off state here but when we give it redstone pulse um, then it switches the block to an on state so this is actually a separate block itself um, a lot of these blocks are kind of just within the game that's not really um, visible to the player's eye, but they're there, trust me. Or they wouldn't be able to be uh, shown, so to speak. So all these are different examples of uh, block states here. Uh, with the cactus, uh, apparently, according to Wiki, um, they will grow, um, well, they'll go through 15 block states before attempting to grow up to the next stage so this does technically use block states um, I guess what it's doing is it's just replacing the block every X amount of times uh, I guess 15 before it has a chance of um, a random chance of going upwards um, now these uh, the brewing stands have their own block states as you can see there's certain um, bottles on certain areas. Now these are, um, the block state varies on what slot the, if there's an item in a particular slot. And as you can see, there's different values here for each of them. And depending on how many bottles there are in there, in the inventory, it depends on what block state it's actually currently at. So that's actually quite interesting. And if you were to swap out that, you can see that it switches between the, um, the bottles so these are like there's many block states for particular brewing stands and cauldrons uh, you probably guessed this already but um, the water level is each individual block state as well um, so there's the default empty one and then if you fill it up then it updates the block to a new block which is at this level that level and then finally that level and you're basically using an item to update the water level particularly. So if you were wondering how furnaces actually work, uh, these also have block states if we um, get a new bucket of lava um, and place it in here. As you can see it has a on state now. So there's a, an off state and a on state both um, vary depending on if there's fuel in the actual furnace, which is right here. And one thing that is actually noticeable is anvils. So if we go to the anvil, you can see that there's different stages. Now these are all technically block states as well. So when the anvil gets damaged, it places a new block of a damaged anvil which would be this one, and then if it's really damaged, it would place that one. So this would also be block stage. I'm not sure if this is the only block state that is actually shown in the uh, creative tab of all the states, but I know that's particularly one of them. So over here we have redstone ore, and these are also block states. Uh, if you didn't know how redstone ore actually functions, it does light up uh, when you step on it or mine it. You can also hit it and it will light up. Um, so yeah, that's basically two different block states, uh, depending if the player is colliding with or, or walking on or um, mining the particular block and then it'll light up like that. Redstone torches and buttons also. as well as levers, as you can see, there's multiple block states on that. And doors, um, there's actually quite a few block states for doors. Um, you have all the different rotations and, um, yeah, so 
you have the open and close mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, stairs and slabs are as well. All these particular corners and stuff are block states of itself uh, because um, of the rotation of the stairs. So it needs to detect if the block is there's two corner or two sides here and then if it if true then it puts a corner piece so there is a technically these are technically block states as well as well as these here and uh, last but not least flower pots these are block states um, I did do a tutorial on how to make a flower pot before and um, yeah you're just basically making block states when it comes down to it so um, all right so now let's get into the actual tutorial on a basic block to actually make your own block state and then I'll get in more advanced things in the future. Alright, so um, now that we know that block states are not so specific on how they update, it's more specific on how many models there are and um, a combination of you know how it updates. So it's kind of like animations if you think about it you know the animation strip you have the your first texture your second texture and third texture in a row and uh, basically we're doing that with um, block animation or actual block models or textures uh, it can be anything from a block texture to an actual 3d model you want to update it varies depending on how you want to set up your mod uh, the mechanics behind it is what makes it a block state. So updating the block to a block, another block makes it a block state. So we're just going to create a basic block and we're going to clone it a few times and add a few procedures. So I'm just going to call this, um, uh, let's see, dark bricks. And then we're going to give it an ID so we know what one it is. So I'm just going to say zero. And I'm going to select our first texture. And uh, this should be fine. Go over here. We can just update this a little bit. Uh, stage zero. Uh, we'll, let, we'll keep all these pretty much the same. A lot of this we don't need to configure. Uh, affected by self judge. I, I generally like disabling that just in case. And that's good. Go all the way through here. And we'll just uh, duplicate this a couple times. So dark stage, or no, dark bricks one. And then we're going to update the textures. This will make it. Um, just noticeable that we've updated the block stage. So uh, right now we already have two block uh, states already in the in the game, right? So actually we need to update the um, GUI here. Okay, so save, and then we're going to duplicate this one more time. So dark bricks two. I'm going to duplicate that. We're going to select our textures again. And now we have three block states. We just need to link them together. So we'll head over here. We'll go to, we'll hit save. And now we're going to go to the uh, block uh, dark bricks zero, our first block, um, block state. And we're going to go whoop, wrong button. Click on all the way to next until we reach our procedures. And uh, now anything in here you can actually use um, for your block state uh, to make it update and stuff. Um, you could do anything from animations using block uh, update ticks to having it. So when a player right clicks with a specific type item, it will update. So we're just going to do a quick right click event and to remove the block uh, we need to actually go to block remove block at and we're also going to need to place block at so we're going to update that to our second block state 
or yeah, technically it's uh, the state one, but it's um, the second one. So we'll select that, click OK, save. Then we'll go into our first, our next block state. We'll go all the way to procedures on right click. We'll add procedure and do the process again. So we can just drop that down, place block, and then we'll go for our second block state. Save, save, and finally the last one. And we're just going to update this one to our, our original state. So we're going to select our zero block. And then we're just going to save all that and hop in game. Shouldn't uh, take too long to compile. Actually, it's already done, so we'll just load up the game. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how it all basically works in just a second. Okay, so to recap, um, what we basically made was a three block states that will basically link to each other using a right click event. Uh, by right clicking on the block, we can update the block state um, or the actual block model that's currently in the same place, uh, creating a animation kind of feeling to it. Now there's a bunch of different things that you can do with it. You could actually make it this particular block constantly update over say a set period of time. And what that will do is something like this. It'll just kind of animate it, uh, so to speak. Uh, you could do this with uh, 3D models and it would look pretty cool as well. Um, and then what you could do, for example, is basically just have it so when the player starts to destroy, it basically drops the default item. And uh, yeah, that's basically the easiest way to show a very simple block state. Now this would be uh, probably used for something like, um, I don't know, like a redstone lamp or something like that. You can actually set the light level for each one of these. This would probably be like the off state. This would be like a, a dim light. And then you could set this to say a bright light. And then you can just kind of alterate between each setting you want. Uh, now the settings based on blocks don't really matter too much, um, so to speak. Uh, it's probably better results will probably come uh, when you keep the settings similar but change certain features. For example, with that light level thing, uh, you could just update the light level and have all the blocks the same and then it would probably be the best way to do it. But um, it's completely up to you how you want to make your mod and it's um just me showing you how to basically make a block state so uh next episode or next week uh what i'll be doing is showing you how to do it with 3d models instead of um the uh a basic cube and i'll show you how to um model in a couple different block states using cubic and then i'll import it into the um, actual program and I'll show you how to um, update the model like I did with the more blocks mod originally and uh, outside of that hope you guys hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial useful if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching